Hello. Welcome to our first book of poetry that I'm reading in third grade. This book is called Splish Splash. It's by Joan Bransfield Graham. And it is a book of poetry. And I bet you can figure out what it's about from the picture right there. And the title as well. And here you have the biggest hint of all. The first poem is called Water. Water is a magic potion. It can fill a glass and ocean. Raging river, tiny tear, drops of dew that disappear. Water often spells surprises with its changing forms and sizes. Rain and snow, ponds and brooks, water has so many looks, sounds and moods and colors, yet in every shape, it's always wet. Clouds. Up in the air, a gathering of water drops, a crowd, a huddling, a puddling, just dampness is allowed. From lakes and ponds, many places, many places, too many to keep track. But when it rains and rains and pours, clouds put the water back. And I like how, I want you to notice how the author put these words underneath so they look like what do they look like boys or girls rain, rain. rain. very creative rain. i like that rain. all right the next poem is called ocean a wave sneaks up to snatch my toes then turns around and back it goes next a splash to wet my legs come out come out each breaker begs Push and pull. Okay, you win. Skip, flop, flop. Now I'm all in. Crocodile tears. Now here's a good example, boys and girls, of figurative language. So let me tell you what crocodile tears are. Basically, they're fake tears when someone is crying or seeming to be crying when they really have no reason to cry or they're just fake so this poem is crocodile tears oh crocodile poor crocodile cried so hard you soaked your pillow kept it up for such a while that's how we got the river nile and look at the creative way the poet made the word so it looks like a river Waterfall. A waterfall is very tall. It starts out at the top. It falls and falls and falls and falls until it has to stop. And then it does a kind of pop, a crash, a smash, a giant splash. Now here's a very creative poem called Sprinkler. And all the words are set up so it actually looks like water would look coming word? from a sprinkler. So at the bottom it says cool, 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 cool. And then let's read the poem. Don't simmer in the summer, slip into the shade, shimmy through the sprinkler. Sing, sipping lemonade, wiggle under wavy water, giggle in the sun. Summer is a special time for shady, wavy fun. So very, very creative. I like it. Oh, look at this. This is called ice cubes. And what do all the groups of words look like, AJ? See how she grouped the words here? Does it look like anything to you? No, what does it look like to you, Caillou? It looks like ice cubes, very creative. Ice cubes clicking, clatter, clink, crazily inside my drink. Crystal chorus, clear and bold, chattering about the cold. And now he has one called Popsicle. And AJ, I bet you can see how she made the words look like, uh, a popsicle, that's really neat. 
Popsicle, popsicle, tickle, tongue, fun. Licksicle, sticksicle, pleasure, don't run. Dripsicle, slipsicle, melt, melt. Tricky, stopsicle, plopsicle. Hand all sticky. This one is called rain. Rain has washed the world today. The greens are green or green. The under and the outerwear and all that's in between is inside out clean. Babbling brook. Babble, banter, burble, blab, prattle, tattle, gossip, gab, mutter, murmur, mumble. Hey, please speak up. What did you say? say? And here's one called pool. A pool is full of cool green shimmer, an invitation for a swimmer. It just sits there plain and flat until I jump or dive in, splat. Then I can feel slippery free, be anything I want to be, a seal, a fish, a bobbing boat, or just roll on my back and float. Hail. A rain of ice, such tiny balls that ping and pong upon the walls, that bounce around out on the lawn. But look again, and they're all gone. So the next one is called Dew, D-E-W, and that's just in the morning when you wake up and um, the grass is a little wet. So you'll see, you can find dew in the morning when you first get up. Drops of dew, born of night, spark the day, catch the light. River. River amble, ramble, rush, more than ripples. Now you push, rumble, tumble, rolling roar, building into more and more. I watch you from a nearby shore, winding, finding, forward flow. Churning, turning, twisting, so I want to follow where you go. Steam. And again, very creative on the author's um, use of how she placed the letters. Because steam, when would you see steam, Mason? When you cook something, so the boiling water is going up into the air. Boil, boiling, bubbling pot. Looks like it's sweaty hot. Once was water, now is not. Cooking is a clever shaper. Turned it into water vapor. And the next poem is called Lake. What does it take to make a lake? Lapping, slipping, slapping words, boating words, floating words, swishing, fishing, swishing words. Wings and feathers up above, fins below, and when the sun sinks down, a glow. And all that rims the lake, a crown, you see reflected upside down in a kind of mirror glass that ripples when the breezes pass. So many words it can take to start to tell about a lake. Snow. Snow is made of crystal laces, full of frost and empty spaces. How can stringing holes together pile into so much weather? And down here, it's just a re repetition of the word snow. Pond. In summertime, a pond is great for jumping into splashing swimming. In wintertime, a pond's just right for skating over, gliding, skimming, soft with ripples, hard with ice, all year long, a pond is nice. Oh, another creative use of the letters, Bernardo. What does this one look like? It looks like water falling. It looks like water falling from no. the... Oh, oh, from like... Oh. Oh, shower. From the shower. Shower, shower, shower. A shower is a private cloud. It is a special place where I can make it rain so hard in such a little space. And again, we see the same creative use for this one, icicle. 
So it starts with icicle and then a letter drops each time. And this one says trickle, 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 trickle. Wave. Waves gather water, building high until they break and wave goodbye. Thanks for listening to our book of poems. Splish.